Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of digital chairside implant workflow. This video is part 4 of a tutorial series. In this video, we focus on planning an implant in CCUT implant to exporting the data for importing them into the CEREC software and the associated surgical guide planning for a CEREC Guide 3. We are already inside the plan step and have switched to the Implant Aligned Work Panel and click the Add Implants tool. The implant selection window is displayed with the implant position 4-6 present since this information is already contained in the CEREC file. If needed, we change the implant manufacturer as well as the implant type. In our case, both are already selected and we confirm the selection by clicking OK. The selected implant is, in its respective size, automatically positioned in the 3D volume under the prosthetic planning created in CEREC. The alignment and repositioning of the implant can be performed in different ways with different features. For demonstration purposes, we start in the tangential view and move the mouse cursor to the implant axis marked in orange. Once the icon with the two arrows is displayed, the axis can be aligned. Since we are inside the Implant Aligned view, the software ensures that the implant always remains in the center of the window. The yellow line indicates the implant shoulder. Next, we switch to the cross-sectional view and move the mouse cursor onto the implant body. A small cross is displayed, indicating that the implant can be moved in the different directions the arrows point to. In the axial view, by holding the left mouse button down, you can review the implant position from coronal inside the bone, as well as the position of the prosthetic restoration in relation to the implant. The outer dimension of the prosthetic planning is marked with a blue line and the implant axis can be realigned again in the different views so that the implant is centrally aligned in the prosthetic planning. At the bottom right of the screen, under the Properties option, the implant length or the selected diameter can be readjusted again, among other things. For demonstration purposes, we change the implant length. We receive a warning, displayed in red, that the set safety margin around the implant collides with the nerve marking. After reviewing the clinical situation, you can still place the implant at your own responsibility. In our case, we revert to the length of 9. In order to finally check the position of the planned implant, a slider is available in the tangential window with which you can rotate the volume 360 degrees around the implant. Thus, you can inspect every location to verify once again whether the implant has been optimally planned. If this is the case, you have completed the final implant planning and ensured that the desired surgical guide type was selected. In our case, we plan a CEREC Guide 3 with the sleeve for the Guided System Astrotech Implant EV from Dentsply Serona. Next, we move to the last step, Treat. Before we get to the Export for CEREC Guide tool, let's open our planning report as an example. Your implant planning is documented within this report. It can be saved as a PDF or printed, provided a printer is connected. Please note that this report serves only for documentation purposes and cannot be used for diagnostic purposes or treatment planning. We close the report and come to the Export for CEREC Guide tool. We perform another final review of the data and click Export to File. We have created a folder for our implant planning and save the file there in the format CMG DXD. How a CEREC Guide 3 is then designed and manufactured with the planning data is demonstrated in Part 5 of our tutorial series. 
Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Cydexis and CCOT Implant.